At least a dozen law enforcement vehicles lined up here behind me, geared up to head out for this year's DUI Blitz. Sergeant Christopher Cope with Utah State Highway Patrol says there have been at least 43 alcohol-related fatalities this year. One of those includes 13-year-old Eli Mitchell, who was hit by a drunk driver while riding his bike back in April. Tonight's efforts are in honor of him. Eli was a man of peace. We hope our message as a family would be to bring the community together to stop drinking and driving. Glendon Mitchell gathers with family and friends to place lights on the site where he lost a grandson. Eli had gone up to the local grocery store to buy candy on his bike, stopped here at this intersection. Uh, he started through the crosswalk and was hit and ran over by a drunk driver. Now Eli's family and friends are speaking out. Campaign slogan of this, like people trying to stop drunk driving is live like Eli, that just try, trying to be more like him. Eli's best friend, Cooper Rogerson, wears the words on his wrist, hoping people will think of Eli when they hit the roads. He didn't care what anybody else thought of him, whether he was cool or whether he wasn't, he just, he was himself. We understand that alcohol is a part of your festivities, but the loss of a 13 year old and not just for Eli, but for every child around the state is absolutely avoidable. Sergeant Cope says drunk driving accidents are especially prevalent on holidays like New Year's Eve. Please just find a, a safe ride home using ride share or family member or a friend that's sober. Um, we can hopefully prevent this tragedy from happening to any other families across the state. Friends don't let friends drive drunk. And maybe I could rephrase that. Friends don't let friends drive drunk. Simple enough. 27 law enforcement agencies across the state will be working more than 240 overtime shifts tonight. Live in Murray, Lucy Nelson, 